In this last and the final segment on the microscopic features of eye, let us consider the microscopic features of the innermost layer of retina. I am grateful to Dr. Michael Horsch of University of Michigan Medical School for providing the images of histology sections. Retina is the innermost coat of the eye, which is sandwiched between choroid and vitreous body. It's derived from two layers of optic cup. The outer layer of the optic cup forms the retinal pigment epithelium and the inner layer of the optic cup forms the neural retina contributing to inner nine layers. Between these two layers, there is a potential space that forms the plane of retinal detachment. Retina is divided into two parts at ora serrata. There is a posterior photosensitive part which acts as a transducer converting light energy into electrical impulse and an anterior non-photosensitive part which forms the posterior epithelium of ciliary body and iris. From outside inwards, retina shows 10 layers. They are the layer of retinal pigment epithelium, layer of rods and cones, outer limiting membrane, outer nuclear layer, outer plexiform layer, inner nuclear layer, inner plexiform layer, ganglion cell layer, layer of optic nerve fibers and lastly the inner limiting membrane. Retinal pigment epithelium is made of cuboidal epithelium resting on Brooks membrane. These cells contain basal nucleus and numerous melanin granules and they also send apical microvilli between rods and cones. They form the blood, re blood retina barrier, phagocytose membranous discs from the rods and cones. They absorb scattered light and they also help in synthesizing visual pigment. Rods and cones are radially oriented structures arranged in a palisade manner or like wooden boards in a picket fence. There are about 120 million rods versus only about 7 million cones. Rods are more peripherally located, more light sensitive and their image is grey toned. Whereas cones are more centrally located, less light sensitive and different cones are sensitive to red, green and blue light in the visual spectrum. Outer limiting membrane is formed by the apical processes of Müller cells. Outer nuclear layer contains the cell bodies of retinal rods and cones. Nuclei of the cones are larger and lightly stained compared to the nuclei of rods. Outer plexiform layer contains processes of rods and cones synapsing with processes of bipolar cells along with processes of horizontal cells and interplexiform cells. Many photoreceptor cells converge on a single bipolar cell but in case of fovea, process of one cone synapses with one bipolar cell. Next layer is the inner nuclear layer which contains the cell bodies of bipolar cells, horizontal cells, interplexiform cells, amacrine cells and Müller cells. In the inner plexiform layer, axons of the bipolar cells synapse with dendrites of ganglion cells along with processes of amacrine cells. Müller cell processes will be passing through this layer. In ganglion cell layer, we see the cell bodies of ganglion cells. These are the multipolar neurons arranged mostly as a single layer. Layer of optic nerve fibers contains axons of these ganglion cells. They run parallel to the retinal surface and converge towards the optic disc. We can also see branches of retinal vessels in this layer. The innermost layer is the inner limiting membrane which is formed by the foot plates of Müller cells and this layer separates the retina from the vitreous body. Here we are seeing a schematic diagram of the photoreceptor cells extending across the first five layers of retina. In the layer of rods and cones, these cells present outer and inner segments. Outer segments of rods are cylindrical whereas the outer segment of cones are conical. That is why they get their names. They contain photoreceptor membranous discs or lamellae. In case of rods, the lamellae are arranged like stacks of plates being shed off at the pigment epithelial surface whereas cone lamellae are attached to the plasma membrane and not separated from each other. 
Rods have rhodopsin pigment with scotopsin and chromophore subunits, whereas cones have idopsin pigment with photopsin and chromophore subunits. Inner segments of rods and cones is made up of inner myoid portion, which contains rough endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, and free ribosomes, and an outer ellipsoid portion, which contains mitochondria. Both these outer and inner segments are connected by a narrow cilium surrounded by calicial processes. In the outer nuclear layer, cell bodies and nuclei of retinal rods and cones are seen. As stated earlier, the cone nuclei stain lightly and they are larger and more oval than the nuclei of the rods. Plus, the cone nuclei also have a thick segment of cytoplasm surrounding them compared to the rod nuclei. In the outer plexiform layer, the inner processes of rods and cones are expanded to form rod spherules and cone pedicles. In addition to rods and cones, there are many other types of cells in the neural retina. The conducting neurons include bipolar neurons which transmit information from the photoreceptors to ganglion cells and the ganglion cells which are the multipolar neurons carrying information from the retina to central nervous system through optic nerve. The association neurons include horizontal cells and the interplexiform cells, which have processes in the outer plexiform layer, and amacrine cells, which have processes in the inner plexiform layer. The third group of cells are the supporting cells, which include Muller cells that form the scaffold of retina, and these cells stretch across the inner eight layers. There are apical processes forming the outer limiting membrane and foot plates forming the inner limiting membrane. In addition, few astrocytes and microglia are also found in this layer of the optic nerve fibers. Due to convergence of many photoreceptor cells on one bipolar cell and many bipolar cells on one ganglion cells, the cell density is maximum in the outer nuclear layer which contains the nuclei of rods and cones compared to the inner nuclear layer containing bipolar neurons and least cells are found in the ganglion cell layer. Tetana shows certain special features at optic disc, macula lutea, fovea centralis and at ora serrata. At optic disc, the layers of retina are absent which end abruptly at its periphery and at this area, as this is devoid of photoreceptors, it is insensitive to light and hence is called the blind spot. Close to a million optic nerve fibers and retinal vessels are seen in this region. At fovea centralis and its central foveola, only outer five layers of retina are seen, the inner five layers are pushed aside. The photoreceptor cells seen here in this region are exclusively cones. This area is devoid of any retinal blood vessel, which makes it easier to identify this area with ophthalmoscope. The surrounding macula shows all the 10 layers of retina and rods begin to appear at its periphery. A distinct feature seen in the macular region is ganglion cells are about 8 to 10 cell deep in this region as against single layer of ganglion cells found elsewhere. At ora serrata, 10 layers of retina are reduced only to 2 layers, while the outer retinal pigment epithelium continues as the pigment epithelium of ciliary body, the inner 9 layers of the neural retina are reduced to a single layer of non-pigmented epithelium of ciliary body. We can also see cysts in the neural retina close to ora serrata. So quickly recalling whatever we have seen so far, retina shows 10 layers, outer layer of the optic cup forming the retinal pigment epithelium and inner layer of the optic cup forming the 9 remaining layers of neural retina. Retina shows regional specialization at ora serrata, optic disc, macula lutea and fovea centralis. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can also visit this site for other histology videos.